Hey everyone, it's your girl, Hey Planner Girl. Hey, welcome back to a new video. And today I'm gonna show you this really cool student planner from Amazon and the brand is called Global Date Books. So grab a snack, come on back and I will show you what's inside. Well, hello, my friends, how are you? I have been honestly looking for a freaking planner for my teaching planner um that that makes no sense i've been looking for a planner for work uh specifically an educational planner and i saw this one called uh from global date books right and it's called accelobrands.com and i saw this last year or the year before um and i was like this is so cool because if you um, are a teacher, you'll know like in some schools, right? Um, they they would like give these to the students, right? But since COVID, at least my school, we haven't ordered agendas for any of the students. So normally I would always like, if there were any free ones, I would get one. Um, I haven't gotten one in however long. Um, I tried little different things to like help me at work to be organized and truly I haven't been able to find something that I like and can commit to um either it's too big or it's too bulky and then I was thinking of getting a Hobonichi Weeks right because that would have been really great but then you know to buy such an expensive planner um for work I mean yes but no and then I was using this for work but then this is really personal like this is not something I want to just have out in the open so people can see and like pedal through or like have it laying on my desk just because it is very personal like I have things like my orders you know I have like wish lists and prayers and like to-do list and I have like my order form and again it's just very personal so I know what you're thinking how how are you gonna make this not personal well this is gonna be all about work this is more about school and so here is this beautiful background sorry cover page and back page it is a beautiful gradient um escape of like the northern lights and there are different covers there are also different um what do you call it there's also like different uh layouts i particularly wanted a layout like this a week at a glance with different subjects but anyways we'll get into that so this is super super cute it comes with a bookmark that you can like um you know place wherever you want it comes with some stickers which we will get to right now um the stickers are okay i mean my channel is hey planner girl hey so you know i dabble in a lot of like shine sticker studio happy planner stickers or i make my own stickers but there's some really cute ones so we have like test study gym due dates uh, game day, what does this one say? Midterm, final exam, and then pay bills. So as you can see, this is a student planner. This is a student planner, but I'm going to use this as my teacher planner. So what I'll do, I'll take my like uh, label maker and I'll write teacher planner or I'll write my name and then let's get into it. So it's a really high gloss cover, really nice card stock on either end so you have your school year at a glance and then you have three years of uh, at a glance and then it says how to use your planner use the monthly calendar pages to keep track of both in school and out of school activities and then review your weekly vocabulary word record your most important goals mini calendar and weekly tips and then this planner belongs to phone school and homeroom. So I'm definitely going to write my name. Uh, I'll probably skip out on my phone number and I'll write my school over there. I was planning on for the next school year. Um, I'm going to photocopy these pages for my students. I think that would be really good. I am teaching grade five, six next year. So that's awesome. And 
here are some tips for doing your best on an exam. So this planner itself was meant for high school. Um, there were some for elementary, middle school, but I did like the high school one better because of the layout. That's really the only reason. I actually purchased an elementary school planner and it was massive. It was eight and a half by 11. Um, I don't know why I thought it was like a B6 size, but it's definitely not. Uh, this is more of a B6 size. Uh, the other one was huge. Um, and so see like this, I'd photocopy this for my students. Parts of speech, misspelled words, tips for spelling. And um, I'm in Canada, so, you know, even though I wouldn't photocopy this for them, it's just fun for me to like memorize capitals of the world. And then like stuff like this, I might photocopy for them just so that they can keep it in their planner. I mean, look how cool this is, right? I've been meaning to uh, memorize the periodic table and then even like the human skeletal um, system. I was thinking about like uh, memorizing parts of the skeletal um, bone structure. And then our branches of government is different in Canada, but um, I thought that was, this is really cool. And then Bill of Rights for America and then a contact page. So on here, I would like have like my family, my husband, some teachers and stuff like that. And then there's a note page. Now we get into our schedule and it's semester to semester. Now my schedule does not change. However, what I will do is I will block this out to say, okay, day one, day two, day three, day four, day five, because we're on a five day cycle. And then I might have like my, my timetable, um, for in the morning and the afternoon. And then we get into our monthly pages. So the color is, the color is nice. It's subtle. It's kind of, uh, earthy tones. So here is August. I really wish this started in um, July, however, um, but that's okay. So here is August. Most likely we're only allowed to come in the last week of school. I'm gonna try and see if I can come in the last two weeks or so. And then we start school on the third, I know. So that's that. What I like is that they have the um, important holidays. I think there are mostly American holidays. Um, yeah, like November 28th is Thanksgiving, but for us, our Thanksgiving falls on the, um, like I think it's here, like the 8th. So, um, or the 11th, it might be falling. So there you go. And then December, when is December? Christmas fall on or the Wednesday. So we would get this whole week off before Christmas. And then my birthday's the third. I'm turning 40 guys. And then back to school. I like how there's like goals of the month and a bit of a checklist. And like I said, it's all very like earthy tones. Um, they're not vivid. It's not bright. It's, it's very, um, calm. And here we are in August. However, there are three days in July. And then there's your note taking tip. Always go to class prepared with enough paper and writing instructions to take notes, vocabulary word, um, abridgment, a condensed form um, as of a book or play, abridgment, week's goal, and then da 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 da. So, what I like about this is that. I can write maybe language, right? Um, writing, reading, um, and then move on to math, and then what I'm teaching in my other subjects, and then maybe some personal goals like um, food and workout, you know, because I am trying to incorporate that a lot more. I have a don't forget list, and then my Saturday and Sunday, and a mini calendar. So I am liking this layout. The elementary layout had Monday and then like a huge block of lines, Tuesday, a whole bunch of vertical lines, um, sorry, horizontal lines. It was more of a horizontal planner. I like how this is vertical because I like to see 
like things sort of at a glance like this so this works out so much better and anyways i'm just gonna go through what september looks like the headings are beautiful october look at that fall november pumpkins um december we have a red cardinal for the winter january is snowboarding sneeze season i'm not a fan of february i'm probably gonna cover this with a bunch of hearts or something march and then we get into april april showers bring may flowers and here is may and then we get into june and then that's it now my school year i'm pretty sure goes up until the end of june so i might have to divide these pages it's fine and then these stickers here they're like semi-gloss and they are are they pretty sticky yeah they're pretty sticky and again i bought this from amazon it was about i want to say 30 dollars and school year calendar what i'm gonna do is i am going to get my school calendar and paste it on this side um and that is the end of the planner okay so here are some pros i love the size of it it is about i want to say five by i don't know what this is where's my where's my ruler mm, i don't know but anyways i will leave the dimensions down below as you can see it's small this is my a5 hobonichi I guess it's about an A5. It is. It is about an A5. So, um, there's that. And some of the pros, I love the cover. I love the design. The inside, I love how everything's planned out. I love that there's, like, some advice. I enjoy the schedule. The monthly pages are okay. Um, where are they? Did I skip them? my the monthly pages are okay um and i really like the week at a glance and that's about it oh and i guess some of the graphics okay so here are my cons about this planner as much as i do love the front i wish this was a little bit thicker um i don't want it to bend i wish there were some more note pages like a lot more like i wish there was maybe 20 note pages um that would have been so much better i also wished it combined canadian and american holidays in this planner because this is not just for like american schools but i guess maybe american schools buy this from amazon i don't know um the calendar pages are okay but like i said the con for this is I wish it was two pages at a glance and a little bit more chunky. That way I could write a little bit more if there were events or things happening. I can also probably prep and plan what I'm doing in my curriculum. And over here, I love, like I said, I love the, the week at a glance. However, some of the images at the top, I wish they were in like changed a little bit more which there was a little bit of variety um not like i said i'm not a fan of february not sure um not really my vibe or march so yeah there's that and i wish like i said i wish there were more note pages i also wish the calendar went all the way to the end of june moving into july like i don't understand why we stopped june 25th i get like academic planners start from september to june but like for my school like we go up until the end of june like the friday so that's one thing and like i said i wish it kind of went into july um the stickers are okay i wish there was more stickers maybe some more fun stickers this um little ruler um slash you know divider it's really nice however again i feel like i'm gonna destroy it i don't know why 
And then um, at the back, I feel like there could have been a little bit more information or we could have done some more pages. Overall, it's a pretty great planner. I'm gonna use it for what it's supposed to be used for, which is just um, my like school life planning. Um, but yeah, I, I like it. It's nice. I'm really thankful I was able to find something because let me tell you, I've been looking, trying to look for a teacher planner for the longest time. I think for the new school year, it's going to be so great. I can't wait to do some plan with me's. I already have some stickers already picked out, um, sticker books, sorry. So like from the happy planner, I have my teacher. And look, they have been so used. So I have some, you know, bits and, and bobs to use. Uh, seasonal teacher. I have some that I've pulled out from some other teacher books. And so there's that. And here's another one. And this one is called Teacher Icons Big Grande. Um, the thing with the big one is like, I think it will still look good. And then this is another one, student icons, which is like, I have so many of these same books. So yeah, I'm definitely going to do a plan with me. Um, I really hope you enjoyed this video, my friends. Um, I can't wait to, you know, decorate my planner for the 2024, 2025 school year. I'm glad I came across this because like I said, I've been looking for something and I think I finally found it. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks so much for coming by everyone. And I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.